So we were talking in the pregame, you have had classes where the cops, the question of billing UCR, mm. billing all the codes comes up often in your classes. So often, pretend you're yeah. talking about that to a class full of people. Yeah. Let's go over why we need to UCR and why we're billing what we bill. Sure. So UCR, we always start with a, you know, the complaint is, well, it's labor intensive at the end when you're processing the EOB to have to adjust off and write off. And I always say, well, talk to your practice management software because most practice management software, as you know, will be able to post contracted rate to the ledger, but UCR goes out on the claim form. The most important reason for UCR being on the claim form is that UCR is your actual cost that you're reporting, the cost to, to do that treatment, do that procedure. Your contracted rate is the reduction that you're taking for being a contracted provider. So when you're submitting your contracted rate on those claim forms, you're really kind of watering down the fees of the cost of it is for the treatment. And as you know, there's so much data that gets pulled from those claim forms and mm -hmm. shared. So if you're constantly submitting your contracted rate versus your UCR, you're really just kind of watering down the fees for everyone. And also on a rare occasion, if the dental plan did you know, increase a fee, a contracted fee. If you're submitting the old contracted fee and they increased it, well, they're legally required to pay what's on the claim form. They're not going to pay the new fee. They're going to pay it what you have listed on that claim form. So mm -hmm. a couple of really good reasons to list the UCR in the claim forms is, you know, to keep the data, keep the fees, you know, the data in line and actual versus the contracted rates. Would you like to hear more? Follow the link for the full episode.